Hi boys and girls, welcome to Reading Workshop. Today we are going to practice making connections. So when readers make connections, they find a way in which the text is like or unlike things in our own lives. So let's look at this anchor chart. It says make connections. When you read, find ways that the text is like things in your own life and other texts you have read. It all starts here. So one connection is text to self. And that's when you're reading a story and it reminds you of something about you. This reminds me of when I, whatever the case may be. And the next one is text to text. And this is like another book that I read. And so it just reminds you of another book that you've read. And then text to world. And this is like something that happened in my community. So it makes you think about something that might have happened in your town or something like that. So it's more about like the bigger picture, the world. Okay. And so making connections also lets readers understand that characters in different stories can have similar experiences. So we're going to practice making connections to the story if you plant a seed. Let's take a look. So if you remember the story from earlier, it talks about people being, or people, animals being selfish, but also planting seeds, and then also showing kindness. So I'm going to go to kindness. It says, but if you plant a seed of kindness, in almost no time at all, the fruits of kindness will grow and grow and grow. Okay, and so this makes me think of text to self. It makes me think when I'm kind to people, it makes other people around me be kind too. My kindness grows and grows and grows. And that is a text to self. But also, it could be a text to world, right? Because it makes everyone around you grow too. And so you could think, Oh, well, that time my friend was really nice to our neighbor, and then the whole neighborhood started to talk and become friends, too. So you can read stories, and it can really remind you of text to self, text to text, like another book that you've read, or text to world. So a lot of times, remember, we're always making connections in our brain, and making connections while reading helps us understand the story and the characters inside the story. So I want you to go back and listen to this story. And I want you to write a sentence about what kind of connection you make. So I've written a sentence stem and I'm going to zoom it in on my little picture right here so that y'all can see because I know we had trouble with that last time. Um, and I want you to start it off with. My connection is, okay, this is your sentence stem, and I want you to tell me your connection is text to self, text to text, or text to world. And then I want you to add an additional sentence telling me what your connection is. Is it planting seeds? Because that could be another connection that you make. Planting anything. Being kind. I remember a time maybe I was a little bit selfish. Whatever you want to come up with. So I want you to use your sentence stem. My connection is. And I want you to add on one more sentence telling me why that's your connection. 